Cases of strep are on the rise again, and with them, shortages of some antibiotics used to treat the strep. The one that has been problematic has been this pink liquid that everybody who's at least 30, 40 years old remembers from their youth. You know, you can find other formulations of antibiotics, pills, capsules, and chews. And if, you, if you're concerned about it, please, whatever you do, do not go online to buy these medicines. Dr. Tim Mackey and his researchers just published a paper in which they went online to buy antibiotics and they had terrifying consequences. They had their money stolen repeatedly. People who sent them medicine, it was often poorly packaged. They sometimes sent them other medicines they didn't ask for. And when they took those medicines in the lab, they often had other impurities that you don't want to put in your body and they had subtherapeutic doses. Just imagine giving your kid an antibiotic that has not got enough medicine in it, and they end up with an antibiotic resistant infection. That is something you don't want to experience. If you have any questions, talk to your pharmacist. Your pharmacist will find you a safe option and make sure that you get what you need to cure your kid's strep throat. If you want to learn more about Dr. Mackey's paper, watch this interview I did with him back when we were doing a briefing for members of Congress and their staff at the beginning of the year. It's a lot of really good information.